to just to let you know what we went through this is going to be a little bit extreme for most of you guys we had temperatures of minus 20 degrees we were six thousand foot of a mountain at one stage and snow so deep the van couldn't go through it kept beaching out so hang on to your seats this is going to be really interesting right let's start off the story back in van He loves it really, just in case you think he's being mean. <laughs> There's snow we've seen, isn't it, Whoopi? There's snow in all these countries. All those travels and miles. You love this snow, don't you? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hey buddy. Just been outside with Coop, he loves the snow, had a lovely snow, little playtime. But then he's come back in and he's shivering. Just to say it's a little bit chilly outside right now. <laughs> and yes, I probably agree it is light snow. And I think we're probably going to go and get some breakfast. Because, uh, you know, start the day on something positive. Big healthy breakfast. And then uh, get the heck out of the snowy east of Turkey. And then back over to the um, slightly warmer west. Well, when in van and everything. So did you know that van, I went to Yorkshire then, didn't I? I did. I did, I did. <laughs> did you know that van is the breakfast capital of Turkey? So you can go to Istanbul and get a van breakfast. It is that popular, so it's a proper style of breakfast. And the weather has just sort of thrown all of our plans in the air. So we figured we're going to find one that's on a main road that hopefully we should be able to get to. And as you can see, I've been outside already and I've just run out and the place is open. So we're going to pop in and get ourselves a proper van breakfast in van or one before we head off and try and find somewhere where there is no snow. And also, did you know that van is in the uh, Guinness Book of World Records for the most breakfasts eaten at any one time. So there's a place called Breakfast Street and there I think it's like 56,000 people all had breakfast at the same time. How mental is that? And because we're foodies, we have to come here, don't we? Yeah, and it was and just like, it's called van. I, well, yeah, John wanted to drive here, let's go to van. And it's like, well, but food. Yeah. So van, food, Guinness Book of World Records. Sorted. Winning. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get some breakfast now. Oh, wowee. Now, that was a breakfast. That was a, a lot of food. We tried to just order one 
breakfast because I love all of the things. I love all the sweet and the savoury and the jams and the breads and the salady bits and everything. And John, as you probably know, isn't a great fan. So we figured we would just get one breakfast and then get a couple of extras like the sausage and eggs and some of the potatoes and things like that. But they weren't having any of it. It's like breakfast for two and that's it. No more asking. So we're just like, you know what? When in van and they brought out the breakfast and it just kept coming and coming and coming and um, it was beautiful some of the jams were a little bit unique but loads of cheeses a proper piece of honeycomb absolutely brilliant loved every little bit and a massive massive pot of fresh chai in a therm in a thermos flask so you can have as much chai as you want and hot milk which was weird but also very very nice so yeah all in all yeah the best breakfast that we've had in turkey so far that was very very good it's a little bit cold here we've been in that restaurant for about an hour and the uh, icicles dude let's get rid of them because it'd be a bit dangerous here we go <gasps> You mad bugger. Yeah. Anything to the ground. <laughs> well, it is very pretty around here, I must admit. It's a very, very good point for a shot. Still, it's minus seven and he's in a t shirt. So Mandy thought she'd see how deep the snow drift is. You're probably going to have cold legs soon, I'd change them. Andy did not see how I went to do that. Somebody decided he wanted to go and see. There's the first try. Oh, right. And then we went up there and he jumps in and he just disappears and I'm like, oh shit. So I jump in and then both legs just go up to there and I'm like, oh, okay. Can't believe this. I mean, yeah, we did drive through a roadblock. I think they shouted at me. They didn't come chasing after me, so. It's all right. The vehicles in front went, though they did have snow chains and we don't. But I mean, just look at this. This is absolutely stunning and we've got it all to ourselves. We have got the amazing Turkish mountains in full snow. We can drive, stop, take pictures, sit here on cruise at 30 miles an hour, take it all in. Absolutely chuffing amazing. Well worth all the effort to get up here and do all this even though i would say that mandy is probably still a little bit worried about getting out of it yeah so but for now everything's good Another bit of an accident or something. Came through one roadblock actually, they said we have to wait two hours. We just followed the buses through and then um, we let us through again. But now we are literally in the middle of nowhere. And it seems like there might be another accident or something going on. Rosa's up there. Another bit of a delay. But isn't this stunning people? Look at it. Come to Turkey, they said, for winter sun. Ha! 
I raise you for your winter sun with winter snow and the sun. Hey. I was just going to say, this is both in one go. This is winter and sun. So, if you don't have BFG tyres, you need them. <laughs> How cool is this little place? It's a thermal hot spa and hotel. So we're gonna nip in and probably just uh, grab a shower, get freshed up, ready to go in the morning again. Mate, I keep telling you not to, not to go in the bits at the side. What are you doing? <laughs> Oi, banana. Mandy and Cooper set the local dogs off. On a bit of a walk. Um, I'm trying to get all the waste guff off the van. Come on, buddy, get your little jacket on because it's really cold, isn't it? Come on now. It's like you don't like it, Daddy. The crinkles and stuff. Oh, a little cutie. Oh, he's got to stop for a wee. Give him some privacy. Look at the uh, steam off the river next to the thermal bath. 38 degrees this water is. Bloody beautiful though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. This way. It snows a little bit deep, by the way. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come this way. So now in the light of day, I thought I'd show you everything that's come off the van and also things that are still underneath the van. So if you look at that, still stuck all the way under the van. It's absolutely caked on under there, everything. So as you can see from that, there's an awful lot of weight that's added to the van right now. There's a lot more stress and strain on everything. So it's got to be more gentle with it. price of having a camera stuck to your windscreen in winter with salty roads is frequent stops to make sure that you can see properly and we don't get stripy windows of course I don't think I'm too bothered but that little camera we just need to have right in front of it sorted and that's it. little spot for the night. Look at the views. Oh yeah. You know this little dude can have about 10 minutes at a time before we have to take him back into the van because he just gets so cold and he can't stop shaking. He's tried his big jacket and his little jacket but he, he won't stay off the snow. It's like mate we've actually got snowless ground to go at but he doesn't want to where's the fun in that eh boopy where's the fun in that bud 
that's the third time today I've stopped to uh, get rid of all the after spray and everything like that. Um, it's becoming a bit of an issue actually. You can really feel the weight going up hills. Uh, the van's struggling, you have to go into like fourth gear. Whereas normally this pulls like a steam train up hills. No issues at all. Um, and you can tell when you're braking as well. So, <laughs> as if it's not bad enough trying to brake in the snow and the ice. Um, you've got extra weight as well. So, it doesn't help with fuel economy and all that as well. Um, but yeah, I have to say, it's becoming the bane of um, traveling in snow. <laughs> I mean, you get to choose epic spots like this as park-ups. No argument there. However, um, there's, like I say, there's a lot of weight that's uh, trapped on the van. Uh, we left light, as I've said previously, um, because we know we'd come back with little trinkets and souvenirs and such like that. So we're probably 100 kg light. Sometimes it feels like this stuff that we're driving on um, is just sticking straight under the van. Uh, it feels like we're 200 kgs heavier than normal. You can really, really feel it. So, uh, yeah. For those that are interested as well, obviously we've got the BF Goodridge KO2 all-terrain tyres, which are winter rated. Proven it many, many times that they're fine in snow. They're fine in ice as well. Obviously with ice, everything doesn't grip too well. Um, but so far we've not needed chains or studs. And we've actually gone past vehicles that have had chains on that are seemingly struggling for traction. Um, it's a manual gearbox, ours is a 2.3 litre diesel, um, so you know, as far as driving wise, personally I always keep it in a higher gear um, without losing too much revs and momentum, uh, so that there's a less chance of the wheels spinning underneath us, so we keep a momentum, keep a little bit of grip, keep going. And the other thing really is um, tyre pressures. Um, obviously these tyres are built for what I'm about to say. You know, your standard van tyres are not. Um, so these tyres are built the, such that you can drop them down to like 10 PSI. Um, I'm not quite that brave because I don't want to keep stopping and inflating and deflating. Um, so I'm running them at 45 PSI all round. So that grip that's on the side of the tyre obviously then comes into its own when you deflate the tyre and the sidewall expands slightly onto the floor. So that is the extra grip we get and it's from the grip on the sidewall. Um, so the contact with the floor gains us 10, 15%, maybe 20% more width on the tire. And that's enough to gain that extra traction. Um, like I say, you can drop it much more. If you do get stuck in mud or snow, uh, really just go for it. Drop it down to 10, 15 PSI. Bear in mind that your speed at those pressures should be very slow like you know 20 miles an hour at the most uh, maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour ideally um, if not another tip if you're front wheel drive then reverse out the situation because your weight's over the front wheels so as you push back the weight's transferred you get better grip it's minus 10 right now um, three days driving in this conditions um, I guess I've acclimatized slightly because um, the first day minus 7 was far too cold but minus 10 I'm getting used to it now uh, it's minus 17 last night. <sighs> Everything seems to be all right. Band started fine this morning. Um, so I think it's about minus 19 where we are now. We've gone further up into the middle of Turkey. Uh, as you can see from the mountains and everything behind me. <laughs> it's stunning. Absolutely stunning around here. But yes, there is a limit to what we can take. So yes, we are trying to get out of the snow and over to Istanbul. Um, and then ultimately um, out of Turkey um, because we've got to head home. <sighs> Not everything can last, you see. Just having a nice stop for the night in this lovely little park up. And uh, the police drive around with the lights on all the time. It means they're on duty. But I think so far, you can see in the top right hand corner, there's John and four, five policemen. So uh, they're talking about Manchester United. So I don't think there's anything wrong as such, but yeah, there's a, there's a few of them out there. Crikey. I think they just wanted a chat. You reckon? I reckon they was like, ooh, ooh, 
Are they from, uh, where is that? Is it German? Is it Ukraine? They all they... seem smiley. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, totally friendly. Did you mention Manchester United? Yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said City. And I went, City or United? And he just laughed. <laughs> Only five of them, though. I know. Yeah. Kind of like looking around, like, there's more, and like, oh no, it's like <laughs> Batman all over again. <laughs> it's Batman again, oh my god. Gotham City sent its finest. They found us. No, no. <laughs> right, uh, oh. back to editing. Back to editing. <laughs> Off you pop. off in van we've been slowly making our way in the middle of turkey and then we head into a campsite now in cappadocia hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be able to see the balloons take off over this snowy landscape <laughs> it's snowing in the van thought we'd see how much snow we got last night <laughs> and we got a little bit of snow oh wow and it's still snowing too. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so deep. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm losing my total boot in the snow. I've got snowfall on the front. Uh... <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, in the snow. I love the snow, don't you, buddy? Do you want to go and get warm, go inside? Or do you want to play in the snow? Play in the snow, yeah. So when the weather's like that outside and the forecast is, and there's more on its way for a few days, Mandy turns to the cupboard to realise yeah, we're all right, actually. We've got um, got enough supplies, haven't we? We definitely do. I mean, I didn't even realise we had corned beef. This is okay still till 2024, so... Hopefully we won't be putting up with the snow for that long. No, no, it'd be nice to be out and travelling again before that, but yeah, we've only got, like, two fresh things left in the fridge, haven't we? So it's a case yeah. of just double-checking. This carb cupboard is full of pasta and rice and we say, yeah we've got a bit everything. of bread as well haven't we yeah so, and bread potatoes. mixes so i can make bread if we need bread and mashed potato mixes yep. all that kind of stuff so. so definitely definitely and lots of tinned vegetables just so people know it's you know a nice balanced meal and everything yeah so yeah i think we're good babe
Yeah, we've got the Berkey going on the background there for water, so we're all right. Yep. Everyone's been asking about our water tanks. Our water tank is actually underneath that seat there. It's here. So it's on the inside, and therefore it's not frozen or anything like that. We're all right. We're actually on a closed campsite, but they've let us stay and we're on hookup. So pretty much the best place we could be. Yep, we've got the um, heating and the hot water on. Yep. Um, we've got, obviously everything else is running off electric anyway. Everything's on charge, which is always good. Yep. And I've got the induction hob and my George Foreman, so I don't need to use the gas or we can make the gas last if we need to. And so we did fill up just yesterday, full yep. tank of diesel and two full bottles of gas now as well, so we're out with that. Yeah, and those two full, two full bottles of gas lately have been lasting us. We're not using the heating, they'll yeah, last for us six months just oh, for cooking, yeah. won't they? It's, um, so yeah, we're, that. we're not going to get solar because there's <laughs> so much snow on the roof. So um, without running the engine and everything, being on hookups cool. So the guy was quite nice. He says no showers, um, no toilet. But if you want to go to it, is it in his house? It looked like it was, yeah. although there was like a little sink and a little storage area, and then there was a toilet and a shower. But it looked like a little cave house with lots of. Yeah. little rooms and stuff off it so it did look like he was like if you need a shower you can come and use the shower in my house yeah so the only thing that we not worrying about as such but is something we have to um empty broach the, the subject of is, is emptying the loo isn't it because yeah. at the minute the uh it's just in front of us the chemical toilet point but um the it's under probably about I don't know, at least a foot of snow right now. Yeah, and the uh, water tap is frozen solid. Yeah, I think he's actually turned the water off. So, oh, okay, yeah. well, that makes sense then. But he was showing me all the hoses yesterday going, no, no, no can use frozen. And I'm like, oh, I know what I know what soak means now. Yeah, soak. Soak. So, so Sue soak, frozen so water. Yes. Yeah, hell of a lot of snow coming. When I saw you walking around before, I mean, you, you can see it's even filling in your footprints from when you were walking around. Yeah. Um, but it was coming over the top of the boots. Oh yeah, it's over the top of the boots and then you can see how big the boots are there. And it was way over the top of that, so it's got to be, I don't know, yeah, at least eight inches. You see, he says. Yeah. Eight inches. <laughs> no, I reckon that'll be easily a foot by the end of the day, if yeah. not more. So come to Cappadocia to see the balloons. The see cave houses. Cave houses. Those see... stones with the wobbly bits on the top. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. No, it's all covered in snow. So... Oh well. Well, at least we can say we've been to Cappadocia. Um, I'm so just sorry to interrupt you. I just want to point out something without pointing at your oh, boobies and that. But, yeah, with this. Um, Mandy was trying to help me clean the van yesterday and she did the windows. And um, unfortunately, obviously, the van is filthy. You've seen that. Yeah. You got a bit of splashback, didn't yes, you? Yes, there is. And um, I do have to say that we have not done. I'm ever so glad I convinced you to pack extra underpants. <laughs> because what, what day are we on now? We have done the last washing was probably the first of yeah, January so when we left the weeks. house. So we've not done so everything. We're not doing anything today. <clears throat> we're not going anywhere. So this dirty jumper went back on again. Yeah. So yeah. It's one of the reasons why we chose this campsite actually. Because they said they did service laundry, but no. Apparently it's closed. Yeah. <laughs> like everything else. Hey ho. But yeah. So we're getting blue sky. Look. So, I'm going to build a snowman, because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Look, look at this. Definitely plenty of snow. So, yeah, let's see where I can find to fix this camera, and um, I'll build myself a snowman. What happened? Fell. 
<laughs> oh, you got it on camera. Oh, oh no. I was checking whether the camera was still recording, so there's a very good chance it's either missed me or it's got the best seat in the house. <laughs> oh, my face is freezing. Once you finish building your snowman, bring it back and we'll have a look. What, my snowman? No, the camera. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There you go, put that over your face. Thank you. Oh dear. You look a bit cold. It's uh, it's the wind. It's not, it's not, the sun's out, it's lovely, but every now and again it just kicks up and does all the swirly things and tiny little ice crystals attack your face. Aww. Oh, that's nice. Meet Frank. All right, Frank. You never know how much you need to actually see the floor to find stones until the floor is completely covered with like a foot and a half of snow and you can't find the floor. I did, however, think I found some nice stones for eyes, but then at the very last minute realised it was cat poop. Oh, he loves the snow. <laughs> is it cold on your bottom? <laughs> What we'd not seen by sitting in the van during the day with the heating on was how much the sun has started to melt the snow on the roof. So when I woke up, this is what I found in the front of the van. So the ice is so thick here, that is all one block of ice, that it's actually frozen the wiper blade motor as well. So um, it's the same on the other side as well. Levels you go to to defrost the van. I mean, it is pretty down frozen, and I'm not too sure how well a 12 volt hairdryer. Well, it's not 12 volt, but it's a, a travel hairdryer, so it's not a, a super duper high powered one. There's where we stayed last night, and then John's come round this way. But it's just so funny because you've got a dog. I am moves. I can't video anything. Honestly, come here, bud. Come on. We've got lines see there that's from the uh, bolts on the axle and then you've got the tires and then you've got the hubs so we were proper grounding out all of this way down to here so we've literally been because if you look the snow either side is taller than what we've just uh, just driven over so let's just hope that there is less snow where we're going. I thought the wheels were ploughing us as well. <laughs> this way boots. But then I don't know if you can tell here how thick the ice is there. And it's coming all the way down. We're trying to get as much of it off obviously for weight saving and for safety on the road. All the best jobs. Definitely the best ones. Well that's a couple of days on this campsite. Kaya camping. K-A-Y-A and near Cappadocia. Um, I'd love to give it a good review and show you around and everything but obviously it's covered in snow and half the facilities are shut because of everything being frozen so uh, if we ever get back down this way we'll come and do a full review but we have left our little sticker on there, sticker wall anyway. So Mandy's just paying up now and then we're going to try and get our way <laughs> um, either north or south. Um, at the moment sat now saying that we can't even turn out the building because the road's blocked. So we'll see how we get on with that one. Fingers crossed we're all right. But having ploughed our way out of, uh, of at least uh, a foot of snow, maybe about eight inches to a foot of snow, um, I think we'll be all right. But for now, uh, let's wait for Mandy to get back for paying um, and then we'll shoot off and see how far we get. Thankfully, once we got onto the main roads, from this point on, all the roads were clear 
Um, in fact, what we actually decided to do was use the toll roads. Seems that we'd paid for a HDS tag. Um, so we had a destination of a motorway services on our way to Istanbul and found pretty much 99% of all the paid motorways were completely free of snow. They totally um, salted them and ploughed them and everything. So it was actually one of the smartest moves we ended up making on this trip. So tonight's little car park is um, actually a truck stop or motorway services chosen for the fact that uh, motorways have been kept clear uh, whereas the little roads nearby probably not so not the most ideal park up but you know we'll have a kip and we'll carry on to Istanbul so we had to move from where we were last night because the trucks kept just leaving the engines running all night I guess got refrigerated units or something like that so yeah, we've moved down uh, behind the service buildings just to get out of the way. Um, got some aircon units, but they're far quieter than the truck engines anyway. But yeah, fairly peaceful night's sleep. Even the dogs were fairly quiet last night, little wild dogs around here. Um, and today we're heading towards Istanbul. Um, so it's our penultimate day in, um, in Turkey. Uh, it's just the weather's thrown us. It's been pretty bad weather right from the start. Um, some of our friends this morning said that they're in Antalya right now on the beach and um, it's snowing <laughs> and one of our thoughts yesterday was to go to Antalya and to go south from Cappadocia along the coast to escape the, the snow and everything um, it would have added an extra week of driving um, but instead we stuck with the north route so it's the same reason why we went through most of the northern countries quite fast as well um, weather does unfortunately play a huge part in what we do on travelling um, so we've decided we're going to cut this uh, trip a little bit short and we're going to head slowly over around about a month um, back to the UK so that's the plan anyway right anyway it is minus 13 right now so I'm going to get the flock back in the van and um, yes I said flock by the way uh, where the heat is on and uh, get warm just notice that the uh, window seals on the inside are frozen That's how cold it is outside, folks. And how good these Freezing. blinds are. Yeah, the blinds are obviously good because nothing on the inside there is frozen. So as soon as the blinds go up, that's it. All right, we're off again. We are. <laughs> Another day in the winter snow. I'd like less snow. Hopefully tomorrow we shall get to a location where there is less snow. That would be very nice. I think nice for Coop. Coopy loves the snow, but now it used to be 10 minutes. He's just been out for a run. Um, <laughs> playing he's been ten, in the snow. ten minutes playing. He didn't do ten minutes then before his no, legs were given away on him. So, it is uh, cold though. What is it? Still minus thirteen. Uh, so yeah, bless him. So yes. So, diesel, yeah, diesel heat is on. Get the engine going. Uh, traffic says there's multiple points along our route where it's going to be a problem. Just got used to that now. Yep. Three hours of driving, and then um, hopefully we'll be near Istanbul, which we did get a weather warning to say. Um, they've had like really bad weather over there, so we'll just see where we get to. Absolutely, and at least, hopefully, there's a restaurant by the park pub. If everyone's made it into work. If everyone's made it into work, <laughs> there is that, yeah. All right, let's get going. We noticed the closer to Istanbul we got that we started to see all the abandoned vehicles at the side of the road, uh, the army trucks that had obviously been used to uh, help supply and you know rescue people that have been stuck there. It was all over the news and everything else like that, that um, the weather over Istanbul and the snow have been absolutely dreadful. 
um, and just to see all that going on and know that people have been stuck there overnight or for a couple of days or anything like that um, totally sort of sympathize with them we were potentially in that sort of situation a couple of times but managed to you know get going again um, but yeah it was um, just I suppose to bring it all to home that we'd literally driven across uh, Turkey um, through all this snow um, without any real issues you know it had been cold we'd dealt with um, all sorts of things along the way but we'd kept going and um, each day we had a nice sleep in the van and all that kind of stuff so yeah it was good to get over Istanbul to get all that sorted out um, and to get heading back down to the coast <laughs> So in this video we started off in van all the way over there pretty much on the border of Iran and Iraq and then we've driven all the way through the middle of Turkey all the way through the mountains and then we stopped at the campsite which is Cappadocia then we drove all the way over here through Ankara which is the capital of Turkey up at the top through Istanbul and this is the Asian side of Turkey there's a nice bridge there we went over and that's where we passed all the vehicles that were uh, trapped in the snow. And then we entered the Europe side of Turkey, which is pretty much exactly where we crossed over the first time. So we've done a complete loop of Turkey. In fact, where we stopped, you saw us stop there, um, was probably about 10 miles away from the first stop ever um, in Turkey, the one we actually came in the first time. But for now, next video is going to be us crossing into Greece. Right, well, thanks for sticking along to the edge of the video. <laughs> One thing I would like to say um, is if you have stuck along and you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Yes, thank you. It's been a bit of an epic adventure, this one. No, oh, it really has. Pretty much driving exactly across Turkey at the very worst time for weather that Turkey's experienced for a while. Yeah, absolutely. So, but for you know, a challenge. Gonna, we're going to find it, aren't we? You know. <laughs> ah, <dear. laughs> So yeah, we're on the coast now, um, basically yeah, just found a little restaurant just where we parked out, we're going to get some tea and uh, tomorrow head to Greece. Yes, go Greece lightning, you're burning up the quarter of my Greece lightning, go Greece. That's what we've been driving like. Well there is a bit, yeah, we've needed to really, haven't we? Yeah. Knackered. <laughs> Hopefully we get into Greece, find a nice beach and just chill out for a few days and um, enjoy the warmth hopefully. I've ordered sunshine. Have you? Honestly, I've pre-ordered it, it's sorted. I know she's already booked in the first, literally like the first couple of uh, miles after we cross the border. It's uh, laundrette, isn't laundrette. it? Laundrette! Like I could do myself and nobody else has to touch my knickers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> stick around for uh, the next episode when hopefully the weather will be back on our side again. Who yes. knows? But yeah, um, it's been an epic week. Something that um, we've obviously uh, found different strengths and weaknesses in us and the van. Yes. And um, I love yeah, van. yeah, yeah. It really has looked after us. Yeah. So yeah. Right. Um, I think that's enough for that. Yep. Let's and go we'll get shall, some food. Yeah. We shall catch you next week. Yep. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs>